Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, hopefully I'm going to be answering a question raised by one of the subscribers. Uh, the question is, what happens to the shear and bending moment diagrams if the beam simply supported and loaded by a single concentrated bending moment or concentrated moment and at the mid-span? So let's take a look. Uh, first let's go ahead and quickly draw the beam so if I have a hinge on the left and a roller on the right and the beam has a total length of L so if I divide it into two parts L over 2 at this point I'm going to be having a counterclockwise moment M and this support is A and this support is B and I'm asked to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this beam. Let's try to do the whole problem with uh, no numbers. Uh, this way probably or hopefully we're gonna understand the physics behind it. So as usual let's uh, do the summation of the forces in the X, summation of the forces in the Y, and summation of the moments about a point. But first we need to draw something which is the free body diagram. So we have the moment acting here, M, and they have a, s a reaction at this point, a reaction at this point. You can guess the direction of the reactions and if you do the math and it turns out that the reactions are negative that that means your assumption of the direction was wrong so you need to flip the negative reaction but physically if you, if you think about it this moment maybe this way <coughs> excuse me this moment is pushing this part up and pushing this part down Okay, so if I thought of what I was thinking of the beam consisting of two parts, this segment will be pushed up and this segment will be pushed down. That results, if this segment is pushed down, that means this reaction should be up to resist the downward movement of this segment. and here it's going to be upward. I'm sorry, this one's going to be downward. Okay, because it's resisting the movement of this segment. So let's uh, draw it again, clean, nice. So I have this one, that one, and the mid span I have M, and this one is AY, and this one is BY. And now I'm ready to do the summation of the forces in the X and the Y and the summation of the moments. Just notice here that we should have a reaction here which is AX. But if we do the summation of the forces in the X, we will see that AX equals to zero. So I'm going to eliminate this from the start so we don't have to worry about it. Now let's go on to summation of the forces in the y direction to be 0. Ay minus By equals to 0. In other words, I have Ay equals By. Okay, and that's my first piece of information. And if I do the summation of the moments, about a point, let's pick A and I'm going to assume the counterclockwise direction to be positive and set that equals to zero I'm going to get by multiplied by the whole length but with a negative sign because it's going clockwise which is opposite to what I'm assuming to be positive then plus m which is counterclockwise, which is, of course, it's uh, positive because it's the same direction as my assumption, 
and that's it so set that equal to zero simply you can if you want to solve for uh, by here you will say that by equals m over l okay and since ay equals by then ay is m over l okay uh, we got the reactions now we're ready to move on to try to uh, to draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams okay now that I have more room let's just quickly we said that this is M over L going this way and this one is M over L going that way and we have an M here okay now if we go ahead and try to do the shear force we're gonna be pushed by a value of M over L no forces acting there is a bending moment but the bending moment does not affect my shear diagram directly now no forces are acting on the beam so from this value I have to move on in a straight line like this until I get the M over L downwards gonna push me down so my entire shear uh, force diagram is positive now let's uh, get some real estate here if I move this like that and I will I will have the moment diagram for the moment diagram it's a little bit tricky first I need to decide on the important points I have to take care of I need to know the moment here the moment here and of course the moment at the mid span I know that the moment here is zero because it's a hinge and is zero because it's a roller what about the moment at the mid span okay uh, the total moment at the mid span is M we know that for sure but if we try to calculate it this is L over 2 this is L over 2 and up to this point this area represents the value of the moment which is this length which is L over 2 multiplied by M over L so M over L multiplied by L over 2 that will give me M over 2 so the moment here with a positive value is M over 2 and that's a straight line like that now I know the moment here is 0 at support B plus from previous tutorials remember we said if you want to get the moment at any uh, point you just simply calculate the area below the shear diagram so if I do this that means I will calculate this area to get the moment here but if I do this this area is M over L multiplied by L that will give me M so it doesn't give me a zero okay or I can calculate this area to double check this area is basically M over L multiplied by L over 2 will give me M over 2 again doesn't add up to zero if you really think about it you are in a positive state here in order for you to get to zero you need to add a negative area but we don't have a negative area here this area is positive okay on the other hand I know that the value of the moment at this point is M but I have M over 2 here so this, this height is M over 2 okay what about this height this height is M over 2 as well but in the negative area so the total value here is M so 
there is a jump that takes place between this point and this point at the concentrated moment location and that's what this concentrated moment is doing now if I add this positive area which was m over 2 to this m over 2 which was in the negative I will get a 0 here so that is my moment diagram okay now one person will say hey this is magic no it's not okay so let's try to not to prove it but to do it in another way okay to show you that what I've done here is correct and this moment here after the mid span should be in the negative okay so let's uh, get some space here okay now what if uh, what if I have something like this so this my M over 2 and here's the mid span and it had a moment which was this direction with a value M and I made a cut here somewhere in the second half of the beam okay so I know this is L over 2 I know the distance which was X so this one is X minus L over 2 now when I make a cut here I will have these internal forces I have V and M X let me move them just to the right so you guys can see them okay and now let's try to get a value for MX and an expression I mean for MX and VX so if I sum the forces in the Y direction I should get a, I should get, a, uh, get a, z a zero so M over 2 which is this value right here minus VX uh, I'm sorry this is M over L not M over 2 M over L minus VX equals 0 that means VX equals M over L okay now if I do the summation of the moments about point X and set that equal to 0 I will get the following first MX then I move to M over L multiplied by X so M over L multiplied by X and the direction is negative because it's going this direction and this one's going that direction and I will add this moment to the equation so it's gonna be plus M set that equal to 0 now if I solve for MX or if I yeah if I solve for MX I will get M X over L minus M and that is MX now let's take a look at this expression remove it what this expression is saying is the following pick a value of X that is located at the second half of the beam so here so X should be greater than L over 2 let's pick a value let's say 3L over 4 which is right here let's substitute so M 3L over 4 multiplied by 1 over L minus M what do I get? L goes away so I'll get 3 over 4 M minus M 
I will get minus m over 4. Now, look at this. It's a negative. So that's another proof that the value of the moment should be negative at any x at the second segment of the beam. All right. Let's try another way. Some of you guys may be not convinced. I'll try to do the beam here just from the other end. So I have m over l. Okay, and I know this distance is l over 2. Now, if I cut the beam from this side, I will get vx here, and mx should be pointing like this. This is my sign convention. If I'm looking at the segment, or at looking at the internal forces acting on the left segment of the cut section. Okay? Just a reminder, if I have the beam here, it's going to look something like this. Mx, Vx, we see that this one is opposite to this, and this one is opposite to this. So, I'm going to study this part now. Okay, let's take a look. If I want to solve for mx, so I take the summation of the moments about mx equals to zero, but now since I'm assuming this direction to be positive, so the clockwise is positive now. Okay, so if I do this, I will get m over l multiplied by L over 2, the direction of this is positive, plus the positive direction of mx, that should give me a 0, if cancel these, so mx should be minus m over 2. Okay. Now again, this part proves that the moment... Okay, let me say it this way. If I look at this segment, the moment goes here, and it's positive m over 2. And if I look at this segment here, it's negative m over 2, the total value of the moment here is m. So finally, I hope you guys are convinced now, the moment diagram should look something like this. Okay, uh, that's it. And I hope you guys learned something.